going on everybody welcome back um, before I get into this video I just wanted to quickly mention I know I've been super slacking on videos this month and even last month too I've been just so busy working it's been really hard to film and I also don't live by myself so I can't like film whatever I want so I do apologize maybe when I get my own place one day I can have my own setup and upload on like a regular schedule but um I apologize for that but when I know I can't film I try and do blog posts I have a website really easy all that fresh there's a hair in my mouth all that fresh.com super easy and um, check it out I have a whole gallery of pictures so I don't like flood your timeline I can post pictures on the website and stuff like that so check it out if you're interested and that's all I wanted to say so on to this video I was looking up I wanted to um, find some new palettes. I wanted to buy some new eyeshadow palettes and I looked up, you know, palettes that are really good for green eyes and I really didn't get any uh, good video. I was really disappointed and I was like, why hasn't anybody really made a video like this? So I figured I'll make my own video, palettes that are good for green eyes and that make them stand out and then hopefully people in the comments will help me out and give me some suggestions. So I'm going to start off with the two naked palettes that I have. Naked one, which I love, and then Naked 3, which I'm wearing today. I think Naked 3 out of all three really, really make green eyes pop and stand out. I think it's like the rosy, um, pinky tones that kind of make them stand out. I really like it. I'm wearing Liar on my lid today, which like is a pinky brown, and then um, just the black in the outer V. I don't know. I just really like the way they stand out. It's kind of a sultry look today. I actually have a tutorial on it, um, but it's really pretty. I love this palette. If you have green eyes, even if you have like dark green eyes, because I have kind of light lime green eyes, I think, um, this will really, really make them pop. And even if you have um, brown eyes, I feel like this would work for you. So yeah, love the Naked 3. If you have green eyes, you have to get it. And then Naked 1, this is my, I don't know which one is my favorite. I go back and forth, but um, this was the first one that I got. And it's just really pretty. It's like the bronzy neutrals. I really like the way bronzy, warm toned neutrals look on me. I know a lot of people would uh, say, like cooler tones would look better. I'm not, I have the Naked 2, I'm not a big fan of it, and that's more cooler tone. I like the warm tones. Um, so Toasted is like a pinky brown, really, really nice for all over the lid, and even if you want to go for like a daytime look, you can put it in the crease or something. Hustle is really pretty too, and even just like Half Baked and Smog, Half Baked is really, really nice. I did a tutorial with it, and a lot of you said it really helped my eyes stand out. So Naked 1 is really, really nice. If you have green eyes, I probably would say... I mean, get both, but if you had to only choose one, get the Naked 3, and then if you have extra money, get the Naked 1. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but I just wanted to say, even if you don't have green eyes, you can totally watch this video. I'm swatching all these palettes, so if you're interested in how they look, you can definitely watch it. And then I'm also going to be mentioning if these palettes are good for brown eyes or blue eyes as well. So this video is for everyone, even though it's kind of catered to green eyes, but you guys know what I mean. Anyway, on to my favorite drugstore eyeshadows. These are the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. I'll start off... Ugh. I'll start off with my favorite one. It's Legendary Lilac, and purples go really, really well with green. So I always wear, I feel like I always wear purple eyeshadow, but it's just so pretty. So um, this is really, really nice, and because I'm also fair, I can't wear like super dark, dark purple, or like maybe like warmer toned purples. I don't know. Sometimes when I use purple, it makes um, me look like I have a black eye, and or like I'm sick and I'm hurt. I don't know don't like it but these are really nice these are kind of lighter purples I love them I like the lilacs and lavenders um, so this is a really good palette to have and it's really inexpensive and then I'll do the other kind of colorful one next this is in gutsy green and I wouldn't do like I wouldn't use all of these colors in one tutorial I think that would just be too much I'm a very like basic subtle kind of person but if you want to go for it go for it. Um, but I really like the lime green. It looks really nice on the lower lash line and even in the like inner corner. The mint, sometimes when I wear uh, certain greens, it kind of dulls out my eyes, if that makes sense. And But I feel like mint green really makes my eyes pop. Oh, I think I just dug my finger in that eyeshadow. But mint green is really nice, and this is one of my favorites. And then this kind of like teal aqua one is really, really pretty too, all on the lower lash line. The only one that I would use not on the lower lash line is this dark green. I would probably use it in the crease or like outer corner. I really, really like this palette. It's nice. I think I have a tutorial on this, so I'll link it down below. 
And then the two neutral quads that I have are, shoot, I picked the wrong one. But the first one is Copper Chic. Oh, I love this one so much. Um, mainly for this color. It's like a coppery bronze. Really, really nice. I do it all over the lid and it kind of makes my eyes pop. Um, and I don't know, it just, it's different if that makes sense. So this one's really pretty. And then the brown is also really nice too. And there are certain browns that make my eyes pop pop more than others and this one is one of them it's really nice it's like a warmer tone brown now the other the other neutral palette that I like um, is give me gold and this is just a basic neutral palette I really like this uh, one right here I think this was in my recent faves and nays but it's really pretty it's very soft and this will look really really good on brown eyes this is probably a palette um, that will work more for brown eyes than green. It's just really pretty. They're soft colors, they're creamy. Um, definitely will work better for brown eyes, but this is also really good for green eyes. And um, what I mentioned before about certain greens can actually dull my eye color, this one by Maybelline Green with Envy does that. And um, at first I was like, um, but anytime I would wear this, my eyes just looked weird and really not the same. So I kind of um, wish this would have worked out for me, but it didn't, I don't know. I don't really like the way it looks. <laughs> I'm done with the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. I have one discontinued palette, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Lust Palette. I've mentioned this before, and I have a tutorial on it. Um, I just love the purples that are in here. They're so pretty. Every time I do a look with this, people ask me, like, what is on your eyes? And actually, if you guys, oh, this was another limited edition palette, but it was the Tarte CC Matte Palette. It was so similar to this one. So if you have your hands on the Tarte one, um, it's very similar, so you'll be okay, but as, I don't know, you can find these online. Um, they're going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's totally worth it. I love this palette so much. It's so pretty. Now I'm actually going to move on to a palette that's kind of similar to the Wet n Wild Lust palette. It's the Kat Von D Chrysalis palette, and this is my only Kat Von D palette. It's so pretty. I want more of her eyeshadows because they're amazing, but um, I actually think that this palette would be better for blue eyes, just because you have the really deep blues right here. They're so pretty. And then you have like deep like blue grays, which are going to look great with people with blue eyes. And then you get into the purples, which is, you know, where I'm at. This is my favorite part of the palette right here. These purples remind me a lot of the Less Palette purples. Um, this would be like the violety color in the Less Palette, this guy right here. Except this is all matte. Um, this one has shimmer, but it's really pretty. And then the deep purple is pretty much... Um, the same thing as the last one. Let me swatch it really quick. This one's more reddish toned, which is the uh, Kat Von D palette, but they're very similar. And then you have like a really light pink here, perfect for all over the lid, and then just like a matte cream color, and then this silver, which is good for all over the lid too. Great for green and blue eyes, even brown eyes. Uh, I mean, you would get... For brown eyes, you would get some use out of the purples, but I I don't know about these. Then I have a palette by BH Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite palettes ever. It's the um, Galaxy Chic palette, and um, the purples here and the silvers, awesome for green eyes. You have these blues, these mints, which are good for blue and green eyes, and then you have kind of the oranges, the peaches, the champagnes all great for brown eyes. So this palette is perfect for any eye color. If you guys don't have this palette, what are you waiting for? It's perfect. They're baked eyeshadows. You can use them wet or dry. Um, and they just look really good. They're extremely, they're extremely pigmented. That's, that's what I wanted to say. I have one more palette and then on to some single eyeshadows that I really like. Last one here is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes Palette. And I really do like the Too Faced palettes. I love the Natural Eye Palette, the Natural at Night. And although I'm not mentioning those in this video just because they aren't like essential palettes for green eyes, you know? This one is definitely the one you want if you really want your green eyes to stand out. Um, it has really pretty taupey gray purple colors. This purple, Voulez Vous, is really, really pretty. Um, really good for the outer V and kind of for like a sultry look. And then we have kind of taupey colors right here for all over the lid. Um, it's just a really pretty palette. It has like a gray matte color here that you can use as a transition shade. So pretty. You guys need to check it out. Too Faced eyeshadows are awesome quality, super pigmented. So this one, definitely an essential if you have green eyes. So now onto the single eyeshadows. I have two by L'Oreal and then three by MAC. 
The first two by L'Oreal, I have Burst Into Bloom, which might be my favorite single eyeshadow. I don't know, but it's so pretty. It's that Radiant Orchid color. I would put this all over my eyelid. Oh, with Inked Pink um, by Maybelline. It's the Maybelline color tattoo and inked in pink underneath this. Beautiful. I should have mentioned... Oh, I'm adding Maybelline's color tattoo in inked in pink, by the way. It's a really, really good pink um, eyeshadow base. Green eyes. Woo! Makes any eyeshadow really, really pop. Makes your eyes stand out. Um, but Burst Into Bloom, so, so pretty. The L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows are the bomb. They're definitely the best single eyeshadows out there. So my camera is dying, so if I'm in a bit of a rush, please forgive me. But um, the first MAC shade that I want to share with you is Satin Taupe. It's a frost, and it is the perfect taupe color. It's so pretty, and this will look good on all eye colors, green, gray do people have great gray eyes yeah blue brown so pretty all over the lid it has that like purpley pink undertone Ugh, gorgeous and then um this is actually fairly new to my collection also kind of new but still i love it it's um green smoke smoke green smoke by mac it's just a, like an olivey green color and it kind of has like a brown brown in there too but it's really pretty this green doesn't dull out my eyes I like it for the outer corner it has just that dark olive color I really like it it kind of also gives like a sultry look too so green smoke is a very 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 pretty it is kind of shimmery but um I don't know it's pretty so it's not that bad and then lastly I have max and bark and this is all matte um I like this because it's not super super like warm and it's not cool either it's more like in the middle it's very very pretty i used it in one of my recent tutorials and it just kind of makes my eyes pop a little bit it just gives just an extra little umph to them so i really like the brown i know it's like brown eyeshadow it's like come on this one is really really pretty though it looks great on everybody brown eyes um green eyes blue eyes too so those are all of the eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows that I think are awesome for green eyes. If you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments section because I'm dying to find something new and something that I obviously don't have and want to try out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.